What is up, Poké Peeps and Masters? It is Russ here, Poké Russ here, and we are back for another episode of Poké Russ vs. The World. Okay, so we did change up the team a teeny bit. We're probably going to do one more episode with this team and then probably switch out to whatever the next team is going to be. I believe Rotom Heat won it. So I have to, I have to, I'm going to build Rotom Heat this week if I don't have one already built, and it's going to be fun. So I might alter this team to include Rotom Heat, or I might make a whole new team, or I'm not sure. Because I kind of like how this team's been uh, rocking. It's picked up a couple more wins than I believe it should have, I think. I don't remember what happened in the last. Do we have some major losses? I know we did in the last VGC episode. Hmm. We're 7 and 5. We're doing good. Okay. So I switched out the. I switched out the Bear Tick to a Greninja. Um, what? We're gonna. Okay, we'll do Lose Me in version 1. So 15 17 from Japan. My opponent's got. Ooh, he's got Weather himself, including Tyrantar Excadrill with the Braille. Oh my god. All of these, almost all of these mods. This is a QR team. So QR teams are now out. Let me guys know if you guys want me to try, try out a QR team. That means you can build a team. You give me the QR code, and I can try the team out on the channel. So let me know if you're interested in that. If you are, push your QR codes down below. You know what? I'll give them a try. I will give them a try. Nothing, nothing absolutely crazy. I will check the QRs before I do them. So don't do like a full team of like Pukumuku, Caterpie. So, let me know if you guys want me to play. So, we have 53 seconds left. Let's get into this. Um, hmm. Let us lead, actually, with... I still haven't put the... Let's lead with our Metagross. Because I think he's going to lead with Tyranitar or... Or I can lead with Greninja. Let's lead with Greninja. Bring the Ninetales in the back. And do I want to go with Metagross? Or Gyarados. I think Gyarados. I think Gyarados is the key. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, that speedy Excadrill is going to be a hassle. Not gonna lie. I'm sad P2's kind of fallen out ever since, like, the massive amounts of steel have just been unleashed into the world. But... We might see a correct Magnezone next week as well, potentially. I'm working on uh, breeding out a correct Magnezone. So we're going to leave with our Greninja here into this uh, Primarina, which is completely fine. Um, I think we both had the same idea of each person was going to lead off with their um, Weather Starter. So I think here, I'm going to go into my Ninetales. If he switches out into his Tyranitar, I can still Moonblast him really freaking hard. So there's a Snow Warning. He's gonna go for the Z Water move. Okay, is this her special one, or is this going to be... It's gonna be her special one, Oceanic, Oceanic Operata. Operata. Okay. We have a Focus Sash, so even at worst, I think we're going to take this decently well. Okay. So our Focus Sash does proc. I think this turn, he switches into his uh, Sand Beast, because so we switch out our Ninetales into our Greninja's really frail. I really think he's going to switch into Tyranitar this turn, because if I go for the Aurora Veil, it'll, it'll fail, and... Um, he'll knock us out with a sand, so that's honestly his safest play right there. I mean, I could always go for the moon blast, but with a special defense buff, I don't think we're in that great a position. So I think we go into Gyarados here. We could have gone into Greninja, that would have been pretty hype. Nine Tails returns, we are faster, so that switches out first. Let's see if he stays in. So we did just reveal our entire team to him. Okay, Primarina goes for the Aqua Jet. Okay. 
Nice, uh, weird mix set, but... What if that Oceana opera, opera was actually based on... I, I know it's based on her uh, Sparkling Araya, but how funny would it have been if it would have been based off that weak move? Um, so we're actually going to go for the D-Dance here. I don't think this thing can hurt us a lot. But to be honest, I don't know how much we can hurt, hurt it back. But I think the D-Dance is the best play here. I don't think it gets access to... Okay, okay, it's going for the Moon Blast. That's fine. That does a lot of damage and lowers our special attack, which is fine. Um, let's say this thing's a bulky variant. Um, let's go... Let's go Mega. So we're plus one. Oh, let's see how much Earthquake does. Earthquake does about 93% max, so unless this is bulky, let's go Mega EQ. Um, it can do 79 to 93, so this is our best chance of knocking out this thing. Again, that's not including nature or anything, because I don't, I don't know how Primarinas are actually built. Uh, so this thing might tank this thing really well, and I might just like, literally lose my Gyarados here, and we'll be down to just a Grid Ninja, and... So here's the Earthquake, the Outspeed, of course we're out of Outspeed, because we're plus one. Ah, it doesn't take it out. And we're gonna get hit with another Moon Blast, this one will take us out. And we have to go into the Grid Ninja. So not good moves on our part. I can't believe we're being, like, trolled by a Pre-Marina here, actually. That's absolutely insane. So seeing that bulk, it means it's a slightly bulky variant. Would you mean it might be HP... It could be HP... Let's go for a... I have nothing to hit this thing super effective. Or it doesn't need to be, like, moderately effective. Um... Let's click the Hydro Pump. Our pulse is resisted, Ice Beam is resisted. We do have the Life Orb. We're just going to click Ice Beam. Uh, we could, should have, actually, we should have clicked, uh, what's it called? We should have clicked Dark Pulse. Now... So we do take out the Primarina there, which is absolutely amazing. So this is where he goes, okay, the hell automatically just stops. He goes out into Ty Tyrantar Excadrill. He goes out into Breloom. Okay. So this thing's obviously sashed. Um, I could go for the Dark Pulse here. And try to hope for a flinchy. Let's do that. Because if it's sashed, we can't take it out one hit. We could go for the freeze, but I'd rather the Dark Pulse flinch, to be honest. And then we can go for the we can go for the kill. Let's go for the Dark Pulse. We're gonna outspeed or it's choice scarf Breloom. Oh, it has superpower. Oh my, okay. That's going to absolutely destroy us. So we got destroyed by Bank.Team. Um, and you know what? Without that thing outspeeding us, it's definitely choiced. Which means it's going to outspeed our Ninetales here as well. Um, we click Blizzard because it's going to outspeed us and kill us anyway, but, yep, there's a superpower. Not that, not that the weakened move hit, hurt us, or not that it, it's weakening itself hurt us at all. Like, that was the best move it could literally pop, pop itself into. How could we have played that better? We could have brought, hmm, Metagross would have probably did better against the Primarina. Good lead option. Uh, we need an Electro. Like, maybe, want, maybe if I edit this team... Oh, hmm. If we would have brought PZ. And, oh, if we would have led PZ... Hmm. Ooh. 
We should have let our Aurora Veil... Vale... We should have not ignored the fact that he had Tyranitar, basically. If we would have did that, because we could have set up our Aurora Veil vale first turn. Uh, so, leading with Ninetales, set up the Aurora Veil. Vale. Um, let, let that go down into the PZ, set up PZ. Just Thunder Jolted from there. Um, I didn't mean to say that video, not Thunder Jolted. Um... Electric move, uh, Porygon con conversion junk. Okay, so that's one loss to Bank Dot Team. We're going to continue battling though. We're still one up. Um, we're gonna um, we'll do Island Kahuna. Team's still very fire weak. Um, that's part of the reason why I want to get fire type on the team. Uh, plus. Like, literally, almost everything in here is Fire Week. Or Fire Week? No, I, I lied. No, I didn't lie. We have the Gyarados, and we have the... We have the... Greninja. Digurin. So we're 7 and 6. 13 matches from last... For, for this uh, season. Let's pick up a big win. We need an opponent first, though. We need an opponent. 1595 from Osaka, Japan. Okay, let's take this. Let's take this. Um, okay. So, lots of steel types. How does that... I'm glad I got rid of that for that, maybe. Okay. So... Oh, God. That electric uh, thunderous might be... Might be the bane of our existence, to be honest. We do have Assault Vest Tapu Lele. We're going to lead with Ninetales. We're going to have... We're going to have Lele in the back. As well as... Do we bring Metagross or do we bring Gyarados? I think the Metagross is what we bring. Go with the Metagross. Um, I need to save the Lele. The Lele is... Uh, poop. PZ would have been good here, too. His Mega's Lucario. I, I really expect him to either lead with the Cloyster or the Thunderous. So I've been led with Ninetales for the Cloyster, pretty much. I can get up an Aurora Veil while he Shell Smashes. Hmm, then he's gonna outspeed me, so I can't Encore him. It's kind of butts. So that was the idea. And then I just feel as I can't do it. <laughs> okay, so there's Cloyster. But maybe with this Aurora Veil, we might be able to do a bit of uh, finagling. I miss some. I miss having Intimidators on the team. I mean, I still have Gyarados, but uh, let's go for the Aurora Veil to set up, set up the rest of my team to have a chance. I could go for the Freeze Dry. The Freeze Dry would do a decent amount here. What's Cloyster's specialty? Is, is, that, is that what's really good on it? I don't remember. Cloyster. There's a Shell Smash. Attack Sharply Rose and Special Attack Sharply Rose and Speed Sharply Rose. So it's a plus two speed. Yeah, it's gonna speed us. Um, okay, it's Special D is the one that sucks. So we're gonna hope we can live whatever things for those of us. We're gonna freeze dry. Because maybe this. Okay, it's gonna go for Shell Smash again. Oh, this thing. Oh my god, I could have locked it in. But now its defenses are complete booty. But it has a focus sash. And it's at plus four right now. Holy god. There's a focus sash. I don't think I have any priority. I have bullet punch, which is good, actually. So... We keep this thing in. We go for the... 
go for the blizzard. Because this thing's got to attack this turn, which is fine. It's going to take out our... There's a Rock Blast. Super effective. Holy god, that was a crit. That Oh my god, that almost one-shot at us. Okay, that's fine, though. I mean, this thing does get Ice Shard, but... That's not priority five times. So Metagross can come in here. Um, hit this thing with a Bullet Punch. And... We're good. We're in a good position. We're on turn three for War Reveal. Uh, we have two shots left. Let's see, yeah. Okay, so we bullet punch here. Do we Mega? We Mega. There's no reason not to Mega. Uh, so we get the bullet punch off here. Kill the Cloister. And even at plus four, I don't think a Night Shard's gonna do too, too much to a Steel Psychic type. We resisted Green Eagle nicely. Um, yeah, there's the Ice Shard. Let's see how much this does. Okay, so yeah, we, we absolutely eat that up. There's the B punch. Wow, the hail almost did as much as a plus four ice shard. <laughs> okay, so here he's gonna go out into his Dragonite, I think. Yep. Which means this Dragonite's probably physical and probably has the fire punch. Um, we do have the Roar Veil up. Um, let's hit it with a Meteor Mash. And then we'll switch out to Lele. Because I think we can live it at this range. And maybe we can get some pluses. Oh, we did get the pluses. There's a plus, plus special attack. There's the D Dance. So, this will be the last turn, sadly. Ugh. And it will outspeed, so we're losing our hail. We lost the Aurora Veil, which is gonna suck. It's gonna suck butts. Um. Let's hit the Meteor Mash. I don't think we can live a Fire Punch at this range. Things oh, this thing has Earthquake. We're not leaving an Earthquake at this range. If we had Aurora Veil up, I'd feel a bit more confident, but we're not. Um. Lele. What is Lele doing? Don't tell me we're going to get two big w L's in this episode. Uh, so it might be a good, good thing we're switching up the team. <laughs> I said that in the last episode, too, if you watched my uh, Boogie Rust vs. The League. Um, so we just got we just need to adapt a bit more to Bank. Um, we're going to hit this thing with a nice, strong Moon Blast. It might KO us here. At, I, I don't know what a plus one Earthquake does to a Lele. Um, do we live this? Do we live this? Do we live this? Live it, please. You're not living it. Oh, you are Lele. Ooh. Now, the last Pokemon has to be weak to... What's the last Pokemon? What'd you bring? Make it weak to Lele somehow. Slower and weaker to Lele. Like, uh... Crap. So, if we, they didn't get Mega on first turn... We would have the game, or if they can get Mega Speeds on first turn, we'd have the game because we would outspeed. But he gets Mega Speeds and we lose the game. Unless this thing goes for like a Sword Stance, thinking he can live one Psychic. But no, there's a Crunch. So we just outright lose there. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna switch the team up for Thursday's episode. Um, hopefully, have a bit more bank. Uh, worthy mons. I have a couple. I have a couple things in the mix, so I'm pretty excited. Again, if you guys want to leave me my your QR codes down below, I might use them for League Two. If you guys want to leave things QR codes for, or I might make a whole separate series for QR codes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section down below. Um, what Pokemon to make for next week? I don't know. Um, I'll leave them in the comment section down below as well. I'm recording this like a day ahead of time, so I'll think of a mons for tomorrow, and I will see you. In the next episode, poker us out. Bye.